Hello, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you all my fall lifestyle essentials and things that I feel like you guys might like for the fall time as well. It's clothing, shoes, accessories, and just a few other lifestyle things. I asked you guys in my fall beauty essentials video if you guys wanted to see this kind of video and a few of you guys did want to and i'm basically just sharing some staple things that i'm going to be using for the fall and that i have been using for the past few weeks it's almost like a mixture of a fall lifestyle essentials and a haul because a lot of the things here are pretty new i've been doing a lot of shopping for the fall season and so i decided to kind of share with you guys what i've been purchasing and what i think are pretty good things to have for the fall and just trendy things that are up and coming and things like that so if you're interested in this video make sure to keep watching if you're new to my channel hello I'm Sabrina if you want to get a little message on your phone every single time that I upload a brand new video there's a subscribe button down below and there's a little bell next to it as well make sure to click both of those so you can get a notification on your phone whenever I upload a brand new new video and let's just go ahead and jump right into it the first clothing item that I feel is pretty essential for fall I feel like they're always in style when fall comes around and it's what I'm wearing right now and it's a flannel or a plaid shirt button up this is just a regular button up shirt but I just unbuttoned the first few buttons and used it as an off-the-shoulder top but I've had this flannel for years and every single time the fall season comes around I always wear it and I find that they never go out of style so this is definitely a staple for me another staple that I feel like we all probably already have in our closets or in our drawers is a pair of leggings just plain black leggings but the ones that I like specifically are from the brand 90 degree by reflex is what it says on here and I always find these at Marshall's and I like these because they're comfortable they're snug they have high-waisted this right here is a high-waisted one and that's what the little logo looks like it has it on the back yes I get leggings at like forever 21 they're like three four bucks but they don't last as much I have pairs and pairs and pairs of those leggings I have so many but they fade quickly and it's kind of expected because you're paying three to four dollars for them so I just stack up on those but it's always good to have a good quality pair of leggings that's going to last you for a really long time they're usually about $14.99 to $19.99 depending on the length and if they're high-waisted so on and so forth but these leggings are seriously a must-have for me of course a knit sweater is also a must-have I have a few knit sweaters and I also got it at Marshall's I love shopping at Marshall's because the quality of their stuff's really good you just have to look around and take your time but this one right here I want to say was like $14.99 and it's not like a name brand I don't think it's just Sienna Sky and I got it in a size medium so it can fit me nice and oversized. It's also an off the shoulder top so it's gonna keep me warm but I can also show off a little bit of skin if I wanted to. You don't even have to think about it. You just throw on a knit sweater, throw on a pair of leggings, some sneakers, some boots throw on a purse, a scarf, something, and you're good to go. It's so, so easy. This next item I've also had for so, so long. I don't even remember when I got it. I just know it was from Express, again, a few years back. But it's this faux fur vest. And I'm not saying you need a vest necessarily, but a faux fur item, like if it's a sweater, a vest, whatever it is, a purse, shoes, like faux fur in the fall is always always in and not only does it look nice but it keeps you warm as well here in LA I mean I wouldn't wear like a full sleeve faux fur coat because it doesn't really get that cold here I wish it did but I have it in case you know I ever travel somewhere where it is cold and I want to look a little bit cute but I want to stay warm I would wear something like that but this one's nice for wearing like a black long sleeve underneath with like jeans boots or with leggings and boots or you can even do like a skirt and like above the knee boots as well I just always find myself wearing some type of fur around these months moving on to shoes so the first pair that I have are fairly new to my shoe collection and I never thought I would pick something like this but I've seen that power red as they say or like a really bright true red has been really in this fall season I'm wearing it right now and I've been seeing it everywhere so I was like what do I want to add to my closet 
that's a statement red I was gonna get like a red purse or maybe like a red coat but I feel like I won't use those as much I ended up getting these shoes right here and they look a lot more red on camera than they really are they look really really bright but these are the Nike Warachis or Waraches, if that's how you want to say it. I saw these and I was kind of iffy about them at first because I was like, am I really going to wear them? But I already know exactly how I want to style these for the fall. And I know I'm going to wear these kind of year round because I can wear them to like work out if I wanted to. And to work out, I'm not really picky about what kind of colors I'm wearing or what season it is. I just throw on a pair of sneakers and I love, love, love sneakers. You guys probably know that by following me on my like Instagram or Snapchat. And I think on here I've mentioned a few sneakers as well, but I love, oh, it still has the paper in there. <laughs> but I love, love, love sneakers. And I like the fact that now the casual sporty style is in because that's really how I dress already on the regular. So it's cool that I can incorporate these in some really cool, stylish, yet casual outfits. These next pair of shoes are another pair that I never thought I would actually go out and buy because they're very different than what I would normally wear. But I saw them in person and I was like, well, I saw a similar one to them in person and I was like, okay. They look kind of cute on and I think I would be able to style them and they're a cheaper version for the Gucci loafers and I wanted, I mean of course those look nice and I would want to get those but because they're such a trendy shoe I know that you know a few months or a few years down the line it's not going to be like in style and I don't see myself spending hundreds of dollars or hundred, I don't even know how much they are but I don't see myself spending that much money on a pair of loafers if I'm not going to wear them for like years on end so I decided to get this pair from Lulu's and these were like 15 20 bucks they're obviously not the same thing but they're very similar and they have the faux fur on the bottom. And I like that they don't have the fur all over because then your feet can get really, really sweaty. But it is all the way inside the shoe, as you can see. And these look so cute on. This is another pair that I already know how I'm going to style. Maybe like with the frayed, is that what they're called? Like when jeans are ripped from the bottom with like black jeans and all black outfit or something like that. If you are thinking of getting these, I would definitely go a size up. I'm a size eight, but I got them in a size nine and they fit perfectly. They run a little bit small. So definitely if you're thinking of getting these, go a size up. And these just really can dress up an outfit and they're really comfortable too. So decided to add these in. And then I have a pair of just house slippers. These are just from Walmart. They were like 12 bucks and they still they should still have them because i just got these yesterday i needed a new pair and i got these ones because the color looks very fall i like having a pair of comfortable furry slides in the fall time in case it does get cold and i'm the type that i don't like walking around anywhere barefoot even here like i don't like walking around just barefooted and i always have to have some type of sandals or house shoes and these just scream fall they're comfy it says they have memory foam they are pretty comfortable and everything. I would also go up a size in these. I got size seven, eight, but I would have gotten nine, 10, even though they were a little bit big. For the house, they're a lot more comfortable if you get them a little bit bigger. And then the last pair that I have are a pair of boots, which I've already shown you, but I'm just mentioning them one more time because I feel like this type of boot is essential for fall. Just any above the knee boot. It can be a chunky heel, it can be a skinny heel, whatever you want but an above the knee pair of boots is always a must have for me for the fall. I feel like they go with everything and you can see that that's pretty much a trend with like all of the items that I've picked because when it comes to dressing up, I don't, I don't like to take a lot of time thinking about it. I just like to throw things on and have it look good. So having some like staple items like this just makes it so, so much easier. So I definitely would suggest you don't even have to spend a lot of money on them these were 45 dollars, but you can find like less expensive boots like this somewhere else or you can invest in a higher end pair if you would want to now we're going to talk accessories and just some other random bits so i have a pair well two pairs of socks that i just got from target and you can get i mean any design color that you want but i found these and they're so so soft i think they were like four bucks they're not furry fluffy socks but the material is so soft so I have this pair 
right here if you touch these you'll you'll know exactly why i got them because they're they're really soft they're not like fluffy they're not i mean they're knitted but i don't know they're just different they almost feel like a really soft blanket and then i also got this pair right here just gray with black on top they're a little bit longer but these are nice they also had some fall like with leaves and stuff but the material wasn't the same so i just got these and then why does my shirt keep doing this another accessory that i have that is a must-have is a scarf you can get a scarf from anywhere you can get it from nordstrom you can get it from walmart you can get it from target you can get it from forever 21 i got mine at forever 21 it was like 18 bucks and it's this color right here it has the little frills at the end as well they had this color and they had like a beigey color i think i'm gonna go get the beige one because i have an outfit in mind that i want to wear it with and if you're like me and you want to dress up an outfit but you don't want to think about it a scarf is a must-have because you can just throw it on i'm trying not to get my mic you can just throw it on and it adds like a really stylish sleek look to the outfit not this outfit because it doesn't go but you know what I mean. I've already shown you this purse on my Instagram and on my Snapchat and on my Insta stories. But I don't think I've showed it to you guys on here. This is a Rebecca Mink Off bag and I've been eyeing this bag for a long time and I finally got it for myself. This is the Chevron bag, the exact style, the name and the size and everything is gonna be linked down below. But it's all black. It has the black hardware. It's just an all black bag. They have it where the hardware is gold or the hardware is like a charcoal gray, I think. But I wanted the entire bag to be black because I don't have to worry about trying to match it with anything. And this one's a really good size as well. I can fit my wallet, like a full wallet, and I can fit my phone and a few other things in there. And it's, it's the perfect size. They had a smaller one, but I feel like it wouldn't have fit as much. Maybe for a night out, like it would be a lot better. And they had a bigger size, but I felt like it was just, it was too much. So I decided to get, I think this is the middle medium size. But yeah, I really, really like the bag and I've been using it a lot lately. And it has a few pockets. It has one in the back and then it obviously has one there. And then it has a zipper pocket on the inside as well but this is definitely like it doesn't even have to be this bag just have a staple bag a staple purse for the fall that you know is going to go with like every single outfit but you do not have to get this exact bag to get a similar look i went to target a few weeks back and they had bags very similar to this the next few things i'm going to share with you aren't shoes or clothing but they're just random things that i've been really really liking the first thing is this palmer's coconut oil body oil i've been using this a ton since the summertime but specifically now that my skin is kind of getting a little bit dry it's not dry but it's just not as glowy as it is in the summertime now if i want a little bit of a glow i just add some of this oil i did have some on my skin but it kind of already absorbed all in you can see it a little bit in this area but i really really like this oil it smells good and you can also mix it with a moisturizer if you want sometimes i mix this with my nivea body lotion and it adds a lot more moisture and a little bit goes a long way i've had this for months and i've only gone down that much and along with that if i want to add bronziness to my skin because i don't tan a lot during the fall and the winter months i'm mainly indoors so i'll do a little bit of my loving tan two hour express deluxe bronzing mousse and i use mainly the color dark and then i'll mix in a little bit of ultra dark as well and this adds such a nice tan to my skin without making me look super super orange i don't have it on my skin right now i haven't self tan in a while but i am going to use this again soon because i do want to add a little bit more color to my skin so yeah, this is definitely a favorite. It doesn't transfer. It lasts, for me, it usually lasts about a week before it starts to kind of come off. This mixed with the Palmer's Coconut Body Oil is like a glowing goddess's dream. Seriously. If you want to know what I smell like, that sounds kind of weird. But if you want to know what fragrances I've been using lately and what I smell like, go to Bath and Body Works and spray the chestnut and argan body mist or try out the chestnut and argan body butter oh 
my goodness i don't know if these are like for the fall they had i believe three they had a, another one that was in a brown bottle and that one looked more like a fall fragrance but i didn't like the smell of that one as much i really really like this one it has a little bit of musky to it which i love musky scents i don't like a lot of floral or like i don't know scents like that i like it to have a little bit more of a musky smell and i've never really been one to like intense fragrances or have like my staple perfume i have perfumes that i do really like but i don't i don't reach for them like all the time on an everyday basis but these right here i've been using every single day and chris loves 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 the way this smells every single time well every single time i wear it which is like every single day he's like you smell so good and i'm like babe it's the same thing i wore yesterday but he loves the smell and i love the smell now the body butter is kind of moisturizing but it's not as moisturizing as i like my body butters or my lotions to be so sometimes i'll rub this all over just to get the scent and then i'll go in with my nivea body body lotion and put that in the areas where i, I need a little bit more moisture so like on my elbows my hands my knees and then i'll just add a little tiny bit of this that's why it's barely gone down because the body butter is pretty intense as it is so if you want to add a little bit more you can to like your neck believe it or not i don't even really go by the bath and body works candles because i haven't found one that i really really like so for me to like this i mean i don't know i just i love it just go and smell it if i can if i can show you guys how this smells on camera i would but it just it smells so good i know for fall starbucks comes out with like the pumpkin spice lattes and all those kind of drinks and i'm not a pumpkin spice latte kind of girl i like to stick to basics i'm not really a pumpkin spice anything like i don't like the drinks the candles like nothing pumpkin i don't even like pumpkin pie like i just i don't I don't like it I don't get the hype on all of that stuff so I just stick to kind of the regulars and I've recently been drinking iced caramel macchiatos from Starbucks but I recently just started making my own at home and I've been drinking these like crazy so I thought I would share them with you I just started making these today but the drink itself I've been drinking it for a while already I haven't nailed it yet like I don't know exactly how to get the perfect caramel macchiato here at home but I'm still trying it out and seeing how it works but it, it does a job it tastes pretty good and so this has been a favorite drink of mine lately and the last thing I'll mention are a few candles and they're the ones that I have burning back here and I mentioned I don't really get my candles from Bath & Body Works because I haven't found a scent that I just really really love and it's kind of overwhelming to shop for candles in Bath & Body Works because I'm smelling one thing but I'm smelling like a hundred others at the same time because of all the different scents that are in there and then people are spraying stuff around you and it's just hard for me to find like my perfect candle so i just go to marshall's or wherever target and i just smell the ones that i like and the ones that i feel like are actually going to make my room smell good the cream one right here i don't know the name of it but it's just like a vanilla scent the brown one back here is nature's wick bonfire nights i have it written down and it has more of a marshmallow and firewood smell to it so i like it because it has the muskiness but it also has a little tiny bit of a sweet smell just a tiny tiny bit and then the burgundy one which is this one is pumpkin harvest sand and fog and it's more of like a pine so mixing those three together just makes the entire room smell like some kind of fall like it has vanilla it has the firewood and it has marshmallow but it has fire and what is it fire or sand and fog so i don't know it just smells like fall when you walk into the room and it's just a bunch of different smells so yeah it's like really really hot and i'm out of breath and i know this video is probably really long already but i hope that you guys did enjoy seeing some of my favorite fall lifestyle things and if you're thinking of going out and buying any of the stuff let me know down below in the comments and also let me know what some of your fall lifestyle essentials are because i still want to go out and buy some things and i want to know what you guys like as well so let me know in the comments section if you enjoyed the video please make sure to give it a thumbs up thank you guys so 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 much for watching i love you all and i will see you all in my next video